everyone, this is Maki, an important nation in the Gundam Seed series orb. It's a country that upholds the ideal of neutrality. However, in the Wars of Seed, it is attacked by the forces of the Earth Alliance. And in Seed Destiny, it is attacked by the Zacht forces. Orb, attacked by military forces, seems to be in a very serious situation. But what's remarkable is his amazing recovery when he reappears in the next installment. Why was Orb able to recover? This time we'll go through some key elements. You can also learn about the settings related to the world of the Seed series. Let me tell you something important. The subscribe button on your screen is a device to protect all vital facilities. If you feel danger approaching, please press it immediately. Let's protect the ideals of all together. There is an important character in the reconstruction of all. His name is Maokyo. He is involved with key figures of the Earth Alliance and the Prance. He is a person who mourns the escalating war fueled by hatred between Nautilus and coordinators. In such a world situation, Morukio establishes an organization called the Junk Dealer Union. Before the establishment of large organizations such as the Alliance Individual Junk Dealers existed as sole proprietors. However, due to the war between the Earth Alliance and Zaft various problems arose, and one of them was the generation of a huge amount of debris. Battles were fought everywhere, on Earth and in space, leaving behind weapon debris. This debris became an obstacle to reconstruction and an environmental hazard worldwide. Maokyo, along with a few companions, began the task of consolidating junk dealers into one large industry association. The Junk Dealer Union was born. The Junk Dealer Union has been granted the privilege of freely collecting materials such as abandoned weapons. Normally, the weapons of regular armies are important possessions of the countries they belong to even in the form of junk. However protected by privileges, the Junk Dealer Union was able to collect weapons for restoration and trade. It's a surprising authority. The Earth Alliance and Prant recognize the right of Junk Dealer Union to retrieve their own weapons, even if they are leftovers. Of course, it is unrealistic to adhere to rights and selectively collect and restore in a chaotic state where both Earth Alliance and Zaft weapons have been destroyed. Still, recognizing the right of a third party like the Junk Dealer Union to collect is quite a concession. In the TV army, both the Earth Alliance and Zaft were notable for their extreme attacks. But there were also people with reasonable thoughts. There were high-ranking officials of the Earth Alliance who in response to Mirude as well's attempt to launch an immediate nuclear attack with the neutron Jama killer said solving the energy problem on us is important. Perhaps it was the cooperation of such reasonable people with Maokyo that made it possible. Maokyo may not have had a prominent role in the TV Ani, but in reality, he was a person who could negotiate very effectively with both the Earth Alliance and the Prance. Orb was heavily damaged by the attacks of the Earth Alliance. The Junk Dealer Union played a crucial role in the reconstruction. It was the Junk Dealer Union that ended up cleaning up the battlefield, which was littered with weapons from both Earth Alliance and Orb forces. This is where the aforementioned salvage rights clause becomes important. Members of the Junk Dealers Union also work for a living. It wouldn't be feasible for them to do all the cleaning for free. 
The battlefield, littered with the debris of the latest weapons from both the Earth Alliance and Dog Forces, was indeed a gold mine for them. In the spin-off series Astray, members of the Junk Dealer Union are shown rushing to collect scrap metal from Orb. They also mention that they came at the request of the Earth Alliance. In addition to salvaging debris, they say that part of their job is to assist the survivors. The Junk Store Union rushes in as soon as the battle ends. We can understand from this factor that there were some Earth Alliance commanders who felt sorry for Orb's situation. At that time, Orb's technician Yun Sifan was rescued by the Junk Dealers Union. Her mission was to evacuate the quantum computers responsible for the designs of the Astray series, but she was delayed and couldn't board the spaceship Kusanagi. As a result, Yang Sifan eventually changed careers and joined the Junk Dealer Union along with the quantum computers. Yang Sifan designed a new mobile suit from the abundant remains of the M1 Astray. It's called the race to name by swapping the letters of Astray. Using many of the same parts as the M1 Astray, the Waster was highly praised as a mobile suit for work. The fact that the Junk Dealer Union had the authority to salvage raw debris and the upgrading of debris by skilled technicians greatly accelerated Orb's reconstruction. The conversion of abandoned debris into new resources was a major factor. But that's not all. There's another important figure in the rebuilding of Orb. That person is Kiro Yamato. Kiro provided technical assistance to Morgan late during the seed story. His assistance led to the completion of software that allows Nautos to control mobile suits. This software is briefly mentioned in the Seed Eclipse spin-off. The royalties generated by the software completed with Kiro's help were immense. With the money, Orb was able to rebuild the mass driver to launch warships and surprise into space. When Kira helped Orb, he was acting as a soldier of the Earth Alliance. Therefore, the likelihood of Kira being paid is unfortunately low. However, the mass driver reconstructed with the enormous royalties would later play a crucial role for Kira and others. It wasn't all pro bono work. There is another key figure in Orb's reconstruction, and that is Talia Gladys. In the latter part of Sea Destiny's story, Zafta Taxob. Zafta Taxob, under the pretext that Orb is hiding Lord Gibril, a member of Logos. And as you all know, this battle ends with Dibril escaping. Zaf could have chosen to attack Orb. In fact, Orb sheltered Dibriel, which could have been interpreted as having deep ties to Logos. And Gilbert Duano also perceived Orb as a dangerous entity. He attempted to execute a plan to bombard Orb with Requiem during the final battle of Sea Destiny. Therefore, even after Dibriel's escape, he expected Orb's attack to continue. With the destruction of Saft's flagship submarine St. Helens, Talia Gladys declares that the battleship Manover will take over as flagship. She was appointed face at the time, and Manova was immediately registered as the flagship by virtue of face authority. And then Talia immediately orders a full retreat. Her emotions at this point are more detailed in the novel. Gilbert Duano was trying to carry out the Destiny plan for a very personal reason revenge against Thalia Gladys. You may find this surprising, but this has been covered on my show before. Even before the announcement of the Destiny plan, Talia had harbored a slight suspicion of Gilbert. She couldn't articulate it clearly, but she had a creepy, uneasy feeling about Gilbert. Talia understood that Gilbert 
wanted to attack Hope thoroughly. Understanding this, she chose to make an unwanted retreat against Gilbert's wishes. This was her way of getting even. It's quite frightening when commanders who control the fate of many lives on the battlefield are influenced by romantic feelings. However, Talia's order to retreat prevented the damage to Orb from escalating and ended it. By combining various elements, Orb achieved a remarkable reconstruction. Perhaps this is one of Orb's incredible strengths. Thank you for watching until the end. Let's meet again in the next show.